Welcome to Saturday Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. It's been a big day of Baylor basketball here at the Farrell Center in Waco. The number one women's team won earlier today over Texas Tech. Now Bears fans hoping the men can take care of business here tonight against longtime rival TCU. Well, the Baylor Bears are red hot. A five game winning streak. They could. Kegler with the shot fake. Mason falling back. Draws up. Jared Butler, the freshman for Baylor. And Mason knocks it in from three. Is that soft or what? That hardly hit the net. He is starting to feel it. He's starting to be comfortable in the system. And he's finally in. Mason, the floater on the baseline. That time he just overpowered Alex Robinson. <laughs> Baylor offense averaging 76 points per game in Big 12 play. And that's a goal 10. Count it for the Bears. Well, you rarely see that again. They haven't really shown much zone. They've shown a little bit, but that time was a soft man. They got a better job of taking away the lane. Shot clock at five for Mason. High off the window, no. Blamba kicks it out. Second chance here for the Bears. Blamba is big and he is long. And Mason capitalizes on the second chance. TC never got their... Needs eight more to become the all-time assist leader at TCU. This one is going to send him to the line. Tristan Cl Jamie Dixon, arms spread up in the air like, what is that? We need to move the basketball. Kai Mason, he'll try a deep three, and he'll connect his third three. That time Desmond Bain, for some reason, just backed up, and he's got a size advantage. He's got to get up on Mason. He starts feeling it from out there. It will be good night. Well, Kai Mason starting to feel comfortable in a Baylor uniform and healthy, and he has the green light, and why not from Scott Drew? Dropped 31 on him in the NCAA tournament. He said, come on down to Waco and do your thing here in the Big 12. And so far tonight, they've really struggled guard. You cannot go under the ball screen against Makai Mason. He's a big reason that this team has won five in a row and hasn't lost since January 12th. That was a five-point loss to Kansas. In Minnesota. Playing really well. Here's Mason again, this time along too. He just shakes his head and said, wait a minute now. I have not hit the rim tonight, <laughs> basically. Everything he's... Mason feeling it. That's time he draws iron. Barlow goes up with a rebound. Oh, excellent defense. They are up and in TC on every pass and shot. Gillespie, the stick back with the left hand. Mason has been hot, especially from outside. He'll drive the baseline, throws it up off the backboard, so it's a Baylor. He's off target because of the defense. They're up in him. They're not allowing him any freedom on the perimeter. And that's going to be a jump ball called by Kelly Self. And the Baylor fans disapprove. Well, Mason had it, and he got a, I think he got. Mason crossing over. Punches it out to Butler. Yes! It's then. TCU has struggled on the offensive end. Makai Mason throws it to an open wing. I think he thought McClure was a bit of the flu this week. Desmond Payne. Mason blowing by, and that's going to be a goaltend on Miller. Well, Mason is so hard to defend because not only is he just a shooter and a guy that can do this, put it off on the floor, but... He's in constant movement without the ball. He's hard to defend and find out there. They, they do a nice job of finding him, but he other scorer on the perimeter, and that's Desmond Bain to get going. Mason, two more. Well, that's why he's so hard to guard, and Alex Robinson just kind of shakes his head. What do you want me to do? And <laughs> yeah. Fast break here for TCU. Robinson leading the charge, and he'll be fouled by Mason. That's the second on Makai. 
We've had a few that have been halfway down, and the rim spit it right out. Mason steps into that one, and he got another three. Timeout, Jamie Dixon. Now this man right here looks almost unstoppable tonight. Whoops, let's just show you a little playground move from Massachusetts. Jalen Fisher. It's been a disruptive season at times for the Frogs. Mason, another three. Holy cow, he's unconscious. Well, good job by Thamba not to force it, and Bain just turned in, turned his head, and left Mason wide open. You can't do this. An experienced player like Desmond Bain, I'm just very surprised. Watch, the ball goes in. He just kind of loses sight of Mason. He goes in, kind of soft doubles on Thamba, a guy who averages two points a game. He's 10 feet from the back. On the back side. Oh boy. Mason. Wow! He was 12 feet behind the line. A couple of years back, it feels like that kind of night where he's going to get a career high. We were lucky enough to be at that game in Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence. It was basically a Yale home game. Wow. This is, wow. he's just shaking his head. My goodness, it's a long way from Greenfield. All 16 points for Baylor here in the second half. He's going to trigger the inbound. And he got it into Vital and an assist to his night. Well, again, on the back up, you have to stay attached to your man when you're that close to the basket. No way. Unbelievable. Makai Mason with a career high. 32 points. That's his eighth triple of the night. It's like he's standing on the side of the George Washington Bridge and just shooting it into the Hudson River. <laughs> it's just that big. The basket is that big. I mean, I don't think he's hit the net. Look at that. What? He can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> They're fainting. What a night for Makai Mason. Easy. No sprained ankles. The Waco fan base knew about this guy after Yale upset Baylor in the 2016 NCAA tournament. He has scored already the most points of any player in a Big 12 game this Bears. They certainly haven't cooled off tonight. From the corner. You're kidding! He's got to touch it every trip up the floor. Oh, Mr. Ivy Lee. Robinson got it and won. Maybe that can jumpstart TCU here at the midway point. That's the first three for North. 20 straight games now, but at least one three as Gillespie gets another slam dunk. Now the they could count on every night to give him 14, 15 points. And now that if Bain has an off night or Noy or Miller or Robinson, they're going to really struggle to find points. 37. And the TCU's had major problems. Oh, Zion for Mason. Kept alive. The number one team in the country in women's basketball, the Baylor Lady Bears. And Scott Drews beat Kansas on a Saturday. Very impressive. Two days later, Baylor rolls in there. Well, you think West Virginia is going to continue, and Baylor just played great. And they played well on the road. And that confidence continues to build. And Scott was just shaking his head earlier today. He's like, knock on wood, let's keep it going. But listen, it's not a fluke when you've got this guy right there. And then yeah. you're building kind of something around him with a brand new team. So you're going to get better. 39 for Mason now. Mason called for the foul on the other end. Inside, they did. And Baylor adjusted their defense. And when they started sending that help defender inside, it took away TCU's inside game. 
They had nothing to go to on the perimeter. Yeah, Kevin Samuel, the big man for TCU, pretty much non-existent tonight as a scoring presence. Now, Sports Center tonight after top ranked boxing with Anderson and Maine. They're going to have all the highlights from the Lakers Warriors with post game reactions from LeBron, Katie, and Steph. Plus, on the eve of Super Bowl 53, the Patriots' keys to stopping Jared Goff and the top moments from the Octagon and Ring Sports Center, midnight Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. Go ahead. What? Well, I know what you, you want to make a. Big Super Bowl prediction. No, I just, again, I, you've had time to answer this question. You didn't answer it the last time I asked you about a week ago. How does it feel to be in a city like yourself that's not in this game every uh -huh. year? I kind of feel sorry for you, people like yourself and everyone else. I've 